and then I checked my email and it was opportunity to teach in China. This is definitely not clickbait. Hey everyone, it's Mariah at Swirl and today is quarantine time where I go over how the Rona affected my life since. So let's have some tea and get into it. Stay till the end for this ice recipe. Let's begin with ending my university journey. I did a double major in food service systems management and nutritional sciences. With this degree I wanted a job in food quality or food production in a food related corporation such as Nestle or any other food manufacturer or distributor. However, after sending multiple resumes, probably over 50, going through several interviews, I found myself out of luck and stuck. It even hurts right now because of everything that's going on and not knowing what will happen next. Because when I was down and out, my friend messaged me and was like, did you see this email from our university? I was like, no. And then I checked my email and it was opportunity to teach in China. The first thing a lot of people ask me is Can you even speak Chinese? No, I can't speak well Mandarin or Cantonese but you don't need to speak that to teach English and I saw that whoa I can finally open my horizons a new experience. I went through all the processes to get through and I feel like when you graduate from university that is the most uncertain time in your life. I notarized my documents, I did my TEFL course online. If you want to teach English in an Asian country you need to do your TEFL certification which is it means teach English in a foreign land. I got through, I passed. The school I was going to teach at, they paid for that certificate. I got the certificate in the mail. I notarized all my documents. When you notarize your documents is when you make a copy of it and then take it to a lawyer who is able to notarize a notary actually. It's called a notary. And they put a stamp, this official stamp on it. And then I had to carry it to the Ministry of Legal Affairs to get it legalized. And then I could carry all those documents to the Chinese Embassy to finally get my visa. On in the first week of February, I believe I applied to get my visa and this is my slip to collect my visa. It's at the embassy right now, but where did I say I wanted to go? China. I was supposed to move to China. This is not clickbait. At first when I got the when I got the acceptance and this is my contract. I was so excited. I finally something good for me because employment is the hardest thing when you leave university because everybody now they want experience and then when you don't have experience you suck and you make a mistake instead of teaching you they would put you down and say oh it's because you don't have experience it's not because they they didn't train you or anything like that they will always say oh it's because you don't you don't have experience how am i supposed to get experience if you don't hire me and I'm very we are all very willing to work <laughs> I know right now it just seems like a rant but it's a lot of built up hate and frustration and I know someone out there probably graduated university for a while and couldn't get a job and probably think that it's them and they were probably incompetent with doing their degree or should have chosen something different because Oh my goodness. Because I go through all these emotions every day and I'm not I'm not too sure which that is. And I am sick and tired of everybody saying. Why aren't you employed yet? How do you expect to get a job with no experience? You wanna up you apply solo JT? 
I have been trying and right now I'm doing my YouTube and I'm getting through little by little and I know someday we all will make it so okay let's positive what advice would I give to someone who is who is not going to start university I would say definitely research some some degrees do all the research actually before like if you have a system like us where you have to do csec and keep with advanced level courses before that you should research degrees and even approach a company and ask them what degrees would get a job in their company for sure where you'd like to work and probably get a part-time job and save so that you can probably do your masters one time because every, almost everybody has their masters and right now I can't afford to do my masters because I don't have a job you need a job with money but a lot of people also we have a system here called GATE that funds half of your masters depending on the income of your household but I don't even think I can afford half right now it is a really big is a really big struggle okay i would say that the most marketable degrees are something in business i think that society pushes science courses too much the science where there are limited jobs in the science field and science is also a skill just like you wouldn't not everybody can play a musical instrument you have to be skilled or talented to do it you have to be talented to do a science it doesn't just come i'm pushing yourself it's okay if you can't get the ears maybe it's not for you and just just do what makes you happy like right now is a lot of uncertainty for me but I just want you to know that you're you're not alone we we aren't alone I mean we all have different struggles and it's always good to talk to someone like I'm talking to you thanks so much to listening to whatever this is and now since Trinidad wants to be a million degrees and I want to have this tea time I had an iced tea let's get into my iced tea recipe okay I filled a jug with four cups of water the night before one cup of water to the tea bag for this recipe I used three Lipton back tea bags and one Delma tea bag from this variety tea, so it was mango and strawberry. Thank you, thank you so much for watching. Everybody who supports me till now, this is what I'm trying to do. Let's support each other and come together and make our own employment. Employ ourselves if they don't want to employ us and build a better world for tomorrow. I have 145 subscribers. We are growing. Thank you, thank you so much. Thanks for the support. I really need it and it helps so much. It helps me. I didn't procrastinate this time. I filmed way earlier. Tell me what you like to see next in the comments. 
and how this that we wouldn't call by its name affected you and what do you expect afterwards have you been social distancing okay okay i'm going for sure thank you so much and stay safe bye